I'm doing a video today and this is a kind of on-the-fly hairstyle. I think um, this is something that all of you have asked me to do on various occasions. That is going to be something that you can do with a wet set of any kind and it's just basically a way of letting you let the hair decide what it wants to do. It makes up its own mind, you just kind of structure the curls out and you just sort of sit them wherever you feel like that they want to go and then you pin them in place. And it's not really a victory roll hairstyle, it's really more just a pin curled hairstyle. And Betty Grable was known for these, she had her hairstylist would just kind of take her hair and just do whatever with it. It was never something I don't feel like he had a plan for and they always looked beautiful. So definitely try this out. This is one of those styles that you don't go by a photo reference, you don't go by a tutorial technically. You can go by this tutorial if you want but literally it's about just placing the curls where you feel like you want them. So hopefully you enjoy this and let me know at the end if you have any questions. It's sort of a talky video so I'm gonna have to edit a lot I'm sure. But let me know if you have any questions about it, about the process or the procedure. You don't see me rolling my hair in this but you've seen me roll my hair so many times in prior videos so this is really more about just the finished product after you've slept on a set and don't really know what you want to do the next day. And hopefully you enjoy it. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I have actually rolled my hair in rollers. Um, these are just foam rollers and the whole reason I did this is to kind of show you how you can kind of let a hairstyle form itself. I don't have any, any idea at all what I'm going to do. This is literally just kind of on the fly. But you'll kind of notice that when you take your rollers out, the way that the curls brush, the way that the weather is, all of that kind of stuff is going to kind of play into what happens with the hairstyle. So I have a very basic idea as to what I would like my hair. I have a very basic idea as to what I would like my hair to look um, based on, you know, some photos. And it's going to be sort of a late 40s, early 50s sort of structured pin curl hairstyle, but I'm not going to do it um, with any sort of actual photographic reference right now. This is just going to see this is just going to be an example of how that your foam roller set or your pin curl set or whatever can sort of make it, you know, make up its own mind. That's what this is. Making your hair making up its mind. Um so it's very very humid right now in Tennessee. Um and it's extremely hot. Uh it is now for for late May, early June, um, I think it's probably pretty normal, but it's sort of getting up into the 80s and 90s in the daytime and doesn't go much cooler at night, honestly, and the, um, the humidity stays up there as well. So what I do before I roll my hair is I actually dry it with a foaming wrap lotion in it. The Motions Foaming Wrap Lotion is the one I've been using. I just recently purchased the Paul Mitchell Sculpting Foam, the Mousse. I'm going to see how that works because I had great results with the Sahag uh, Sculpt Mousse and that's not available anymore so I'm going to try some more dif some different mousses. I like a mousse that's got a little bit richer texture to it than the Motions Foaming Wrap Lotion does but that's what I've been using for years and it, it does work. It's sort of like a setting lotion but it's in a foam consistency. So what I'm doing is actually what I did is I washed my hair yesterday morning, wore it straight all day, and then last night I actually re-wet each section before I rolled it and it still had the Motions Foaming Wrap Lotion in it. So that's sort of the setting lotion that I use. It helps combat humidity and my hairspray does that as well. I'm using the Shaper Plus which I mentioned in my um, Spring Favorites video. So I'm going to go ahead and remove these rollers. I have bangs as you know but we're going to not feature them in this style. So I actually rolled them in a really small roller right here at the top. That way they can sort of be worked into the style without really being a prominent feature. And I'm also going to use, this one turned out exactly like I'd like it to, sort of a silky curl. And I rolled these top three sections forward. I kept the crown flat. There are no rollers on the crown at all. And then the rest of this is just all rolled downward, hodgepodgey. I usually do this when I'm not even looking in the mirror. I usually do this when I'm not even looking in the mirror. So this is not, there is no, literally no rhyme or reason to this setting cut pattern. Now I can already tell these curls are very, very loose. Um, to be such a tight foam roller set, that really shows you how the humidity plays into it. Because even on the rollers, the curls relax once they're dry. It's kind of crazy. But I slept in these all night. I don't find foam rollers particularly uncomfortable to sleep in. I sleep in them all the time. Um, my favorite set to sleep in are the rock and rollers. 
that um, Lauren Reynolds sells on her site and they are by far the most comfortable sleeping set. My second favorite set to sleep in is pin curls and my third is foam rollers. The foam rollers, the only thing about foam rollers that makes them not ideal to sleep in is the fact that um, is they'll sort of pull as you move your head so they can kind of be uncomfortable in that regard but otherwise they're fine and I'll sort of shake them out now these were rolled this these end curls here the bottom curls because they're shorter were rolled on really small foam rollers these foam rollers are extremely difficult to use um, on longer hair because they will tend to make the hair a little too frizzy to work with um, so these are perfect for shorter hair, but I wouldn't necessarily use them otherwise. It works really well when you've got really short like nape hairs that tend to get too relaxed. So I'm going to take my brush. This is my Denman paddle brush. And this is what I typically use to break up my set after I've unrolled it or fixed it up. Now, regardless of how curly this is now, I don't want this to be a curly style. This is going to be a wave style, so these curls are actually not going to be nearly as prominent in a few minutes. So I'm going to just brush backwards so that my part is really easy to identify. I'm going to brush against my hand so that the curls become a little less frizzy. That always is, the, the brush out is of course the key to a vintage set. The brush out is extremely important. Never just brush and go unless you're going for 1930s sort of frizzy look. Um, just brush against your hand and you'll see that the curls just, they just take shape. Okay, so for the purpose of this look, I don't wanna do a lot of teasing, but I am gonna do some. I'm just gonna spray. I'm just gonna spray my hair right here in the front and sort of Tease it at the base so that this will lay more high, like with more height. And then I'm going to take the section behind it and tease just at the base to lend it a little more height. In a style like this, I do not want to ever add height here because I never am looking for big hair when I do 1950s or 1940s styles except volume in the front. So now what I'm going to do is sort of take these two pieces here this is my bangs in the front and that back section in the back I'm going to create a very loose pin curl you're going to be able to see a very defined curl based on what the hair wants to do and I'm using the Metagrip Premium Bobby Pins from Sally Beauty. These are holy grail bobby pins, and I only use black. Um, I Even when my hair was blonde, I tended to use black. I never want the bobby pins to be clearly visible, and I feel like the black is so much easier to hide, and it really doesn't even matter how much hair you have. Okay, so we have one very structured curl right here. And I like the fact that it's sort of waved like this automatically and then fell loosely right there. So I'm going to spray that a little bit to kind of keep it featured. And then I'm going to go to the next section. Curl, comb out the ends. Make sure it looks relatively smooth on top. And see how this curl wants to fall. This is going to be very similar to things that, to styles that Betty Grable sort of wore during this time period because she was known for her pin curled hairstyles. They were not technically victory roll hairstyles. They were more just pin curl hairstyles. And I'll usually take my comb and just sort of smooth it down anytime that I reach a point where I'm happy with it. I like there to be lift, but not a lot of volume because I feel like that's more indicative of the 40s and 50s. Um, however, for those of you who like modern pinup looks, definitely go with more teasing. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and like pull this one in an upward motion. 
but I want the curl to fall evenly with the other ones. So I'm not really making, um, not really making a victory roll here. I'm just making a pin curl. I'm going to put this one here and again, pin it right in the center. and just sort of twist it up on the side so that this curl lays at the top. And I'm gonna pin that in place as well. See that the theme in this sort of a style is keeping it loose, but still structured. See how soft it is? And then I'm gonna take my really curly back section here and just kind of brush it down so that the curls will start to slowly relax over time. They'll start out kind of curly, but they're going to actually start to relax a lot in this humidity. So I'm just making it very smooth. So now I'm going to go to the other side and all that I'm going to do on this side is just sort of maybe do a couple of pin curls. I'm going to take this section here And I'm going to do a little bit of a pin curl going upwards. I'm going to bring it all the way. I like to spray it first on this side because my the light side of my part ends up being very thin. And when I tease it, I tend to tease too much of the curl out. So in some cases I do very little back combing and you'll notice that. Once you get it pinned, you'll notice that it becomes very forgiving as far as you're repositioning it. So once the pin is up there, Take it and spray it and shape it with your fingers until it's got the structure that you're wanting it to. So right now we've got like this perfect little pin curl here. And now I'm gonna take this section and do almost exactly the same thing, but I'm gonna position it a little farther back. So from the side, it's gonna have a nice amount of visual interest. So anywhere that it feels a little bit loose or a little less secure, just feel free to pop another bobby pin, being careful not to actually disrupt the flow of the style when you do that, because sometimes you can get overly zealous with the bobby pins and then just like the whole style just like falls flat. And then I'm gonna take this side, I'm gonna comb down the section behind the little side roll here and sort of smooth this section out. So it's the same all the way around. And you'll see that already these curls, just over the course of the time that I've been messing with this style, the curls have relaxed there at the base. So now they're nice and smooth. And just because it's summertime, I'm going to use, my necklace has been sitting crooked this whole time. Um, just because it's summertime, I'm gonna go ahead and use one of these fruit <clears throat> accessories from Bell Blossoms. This is the one with strawberries and I love it. I have strawberries in my hair. Um, and then I'll just sort of smooth over and check out all of the little curls and make sure they all look about like I want them to, and then you're done. And I actually have a great uh, giveaway from Bell Blossoms coming up, so I hope you enjoyed this video. And let me know if there, you have any questions about this process or this procedure. Um, this is literally something that is um, something you'll want to practice with because to be honest, you're not going to just automatically have a feel for this. This is going to be have, have to be something that you play around with. So I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you have any, like I said, any questions or concerns, feel free to ask me. Everything you stack is what's